Hi stylistas, Swank Stylista here. So today I'm filming the Tracy Ellis Ross Five Reasons Why I Love My Hair video. This video, when I first saw her original video, which I'll post a link below, I was so inspired. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing because everyone talks about her hair. Everyone talks about how much they love her hair, how great her hair is. And she was like, look, like, you guys need to love your hair. Stop trying to like have all of this because all it is took a whole lot of work, okay? Love your hair, learn your hair, and embrace your hair. And I loved it. I thought it was an amazing thing that newly natural, people who've been natural forever, definitely needed to watch and I definitely wanted to contribute to the movement and kind of share why I love my hair and kind of how it took me to embrace my hair and really love my hair for what it is. Um, so first let's talk about my journey a little bit. Um, some of you may know, most of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram or if you've seen my previous um, natural hair journey video, I big chopped. Um, I big chopped in August of 2010 and I transitioned. I always put quotes around it because I feel like I didn't transition. It was only for like two months. My last perm was on my birthday of that year, which was June 17th, 2010. And it was probably like a few days before that. And then I big chopped on like August 10th, 2010. So that wasn't a transition. That was just like me not having a perm for like two extra weeks. Okay. <laughs> so um, even though I had like, I had known at that point that I wasn't going to get a perm ever again. So technically, like, in my mind, I was transitioning. But in reality, I just decided to big jump. So I'll put a picture at the end of this video. Um, I definitely, before I big chopped and before, you know, all the hair came off and I really knew what my curl pattern was, I had curl envy. I still have curl envy. I look at people like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. But I don't really necessarily wish my hair looked like that all the time. Um, but I definitely had curl envy. I definitely was the one that was like, oh my gosh, like when I cut my hair off, my hair gonna look like that, y'all. It's gonna be curly and it's gonna be <gasps> fabulous. And it did not. Like, I cut my hair off and my hair was so straight. And I was like, what is going on? Like, why is my hair like... It was like, I had probably like two little curls. And I'm like... Watching people, I'm like, she got all these little curls. She just puts a little gel in it, all like curl up. I'm like, why is my hair not doing that? I don't understand. Um, and then as my hair began to grow out, I realized my curl pattern was bigger. So my curl wasn't going to curl at like less than an inch long. Um, so it definitely kind of looked like a buzz cut for a little bit. But it was okay. I embraced my little buzz cut. Um, and as it grew out, you know, I ended up damaging with like the back of my hair because I was always tie it down. I would tie down the back and the sides because I wanted it to be short in the back and the sides, but I still wanted it to grow. So I don't know what I was thinking. I might as well have just like kept cutting it if I wanted it to be shorter. But I wanted it to be short on the back and the sides and I wanted it to be like longer at the top. So every night that I would, not every night, but anytime I would wash my hair, I would tie it with a scarf so then it would make it straight. And so then like, I was freaking out because I was like, where's my curl pattern in the back? You've destroyed it. So there's no curl pattern because you kept tying your hair down. So um, going through that, cutting my hair off again, um, not necessarily doing a big chop, but I definitely let my hair grow out. Um, I did a lot of Bantu knot outs and two strand twist, um, twist outs, of course, and just let it kind of like grow until I got to the point where I could just cut it off. Um, so I cut it off, I believe, in 2011, in November. Um, cut off all the straight ends. I was like, just just get it off. And when I went to the hairdresser, I had this like 1970s afro. And I was like, I was, I was mortified. I just didn't want an afro. Like, when I first became natural, I was like, the last thing I want is an afro. I do not want an afro. Like, oh my gosh. And I think that's another reason why I kept, like, tying my hair down on the sides and the back because I did not want an afro. So, um, I was just like, I don't know y'all, I was tripping because clearly y'all see me now always have an afro. So, I just did not want that. And 
I began still to like two strand twist my hair, flat twist my hair and bantu knot my hair and all I was doing was like pulling out my curl pattern. I was using silicone so my curl pattern really wasn't coming through. So I was like, where is my curl pattern? Like it's just my hair is just always straight but it's not like straight straight. You know, it's just there's no curl really to it. It's a little wavy. So I didn't know what my curl pattern was. I still don't know what my curl pattern is. And it was just a lot. So I really decided last year around February to really take care of my hair. And I started the curly girl method. I was like, okay, they, they say you use this method to get your curl pattern back. And this is what I'm trying to do. So this is what I'm going to do. And my curl pattern came back. It definitely took some time, um, diligent work, and really like co-washing my hair using no shampoo, using no heat. And I don't really use heat regularly anyways. I learned... You know, I started using um, blowouts last year, at the end of last year, um, and love those. Only because, like, it gets my fro a little bit bigger than what it would normally be. Um, and then it also keeps my part in my hair. Because when I have my fro and I do my wash and goes, the first day there'll be a part. Second day there's a little bit less than a part. Third day. And it just closes as, like, the week goes on. So that helps me kind of keep the part in place when I do a blowout but anyways so that was kind of like my journey in a nutshell shall we say as far as like from the time I big chops until now um once I started doing the curly girl method you only do wash and goes you don't do any flat twist any twist any bantu knots any anything you just wash it and and go you know um and the first time I did it I hated it I was like I was like, my hair looks a hot mess. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Like, I can't even with this hair. And I was like, I had to look at the end goal. Like, this is what you need to do to get your curl pattern back. Like, just, just breathe and keep it pushing. And now my curl pattern is back. You don't see it when it dries. But when it's wet, I definitely have a curl pattern. When it dries, it does not exist anymore for whatever reason but um it was just to get when my hair is wet it curled up like it was supposed to you know if it dries its way that's the way it dries and I've embraced it clearly um I'm always wearing afro wearing a puff I feel like in the next six months or so I'm not going to be able to wear this anymore because my it's just going to be like two heads I'm going to have one here and then another one here because it's just going to be huge but um, just embrace my afro. I love it. Um, I wear it all the time. Like I said, whether I'm wearing this, a puff, or I wear a bun sometimes. And then I have my turbans, of course. But I love my afro. That's pretty much my go-to style, wash and goes. Um, so yeah, so enough rambling. Now on to why I love my hair. I put them in my phone so I would not forget them for you guys. I know it's only five, but... I want to make sure that I, I cover them all okay so the first thing that I love about my hair is that I'm still learning about it so it's like a new experience because I've been at pretty much every stage now from short to long like the longer it gets I have to try new things and you know work around it and I used to do my hair when my hair was permed as well so it's not the biggest challenge now it's just because I have so much hair it can be a little overwhelming on wash day, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Like, I don't really let people touch my hair unless I'm getting a trim. So, um, it's just one of those things that I have to do. But, yeah, so I'm still learning about my hair. I still am trying out products at times. I have my staple products, but sometimes I'll try other products to see if they work. Um, as you'll see in an upcoming video, I tried a product and, um... I'll try them, I'll see if they work, and if they do work, I'll put them in. Just like I started using Shea Moisture, and I love it. So that's now in my current regimen and current products that I use. So I'll definitely be up updating my current products video for you guys um, shortly. Let's see. Next reason I love my hair is because it's so versatile. Like, I can do 
two strand twist, flat twist. I can do a bantu knot. I can wear it straight. I can wear an afro. I can wear it in a puff. I can put a turban on it. I can wear it in a bun. I can pin one side back and have the rest out. I can braid one side. I can, like there's so many options when you're natural. And there's so many things that I can do in so many different ways that I can wear it. Like if I wanted to, I can have a different hairstyle every day of the month, year, whatever. Like I could just keep it moving. I don't have time to do all that. So I'm not gonna do all that, but I'm glad that I can do all that. So I can stay in my, my little lanes right now. Um, sometimes I'll do a flat twist out if I'm like, oh, I just want like a little definition. Um, sometimes I'll do a bantu night out, like my previous video where I did um, a bantu night out on blown out hair. I think I'll start doing that when I do my bantu night outs only because it takes so long to dry and I just don't have like a whole day to sit in the house for bantu nuts to dry. So, um, but yeah, so it, it's just so versatile. Like, do you guys find this versatile or do you guys like stick with one style? Let me know. Um, it definitely fits me perfectly. My afro, like people see me now and they're like, you had straight hair? Like, when was this? And I'm just like, I did. Like, is that a problem? And they're like, I can't even see you with a weave and straight. I can't. And I'm like, okay, I guess. And then people who know me for straight hair, they're just like, oh my gosh, you have an afro now. I'm like, yes, I do. I have an afro now. And people that knew me when I cut my hair off, they're just like, oh my gosh, your hair's grown so much. I can't believe how big and beautiful it is. So it definitely fits me at this stage in my life. And I definitely believe that I will always have an afro. Like, I'm never going to go back to a perm. Like, ever. It's not going to happen. Um, and I may do like a... I've been thinking about getting like a quick weave. But I feel like this is too much to put up under something. Just because I'm like... What if I just want to go like this? I can't really do that with the afro. But if I just want to, you know, flip my hair over my shoulder. Just for like two weeks. Not for long, you know, or however long you leave a weave in. I don't really know. I think it's like four weeks. But, um, just because, just a little something different. You know, because I can. Um, I think I can. I don't know. This is a lot to put up under a weave, though. And I can't look like I got, like, something sitting on top of my head. Maybe I just need to get, like, a wig or something. If I can even fit a wig on top of this. I don't know, y'all. I'm thinking. That might not even happen. Um, so, yeah. So, it fits me perfectly right now. I love my big hair. I love going out with my big hair. It's just what it is. I love my afro. And it fits me, my lifestyle. Like, you guys know, I'm a wardrobe stylist. So, it's just, like, another way to show my creativity. Um, so, th speaking of big... That's another reason why I love my hair. Like, my hair is so big, especially when it's an afro. And I'm just like, I don't realize how far back it goes until I see, like, a side profile picture. And I'm like, so all of this is what is behind me. Okay. Like, it's just huge. And I love it. It gets attention. People are like, oh, my gosh, your hair. And it's just, I don't even know half the time what it's looking like. There could be, like birds back there nesting I don't even know okay but that's why I love it because it's just big it's bold it's out there it's just like look at me and this is me so and that fits me right now my personality is bigger than ever I believe that I'm living the life that I want to live and my hair reflects that okay and then the last reason I believe yes last reason is because it shows commitment and growth when I look at my hair, I look at where I've come, the journey that I've taken and the years that I've put into my hair. And when people ask me, like, how long have you been natural? I'm proud to say, like, I've been natural three and a half years. And I'm going to be saying, like, in five years, in 20 years. And to see, like, you know, I big chopped and it started from an inch or less of hair and grew to this and just kept it moving. At times, I do want to cut it all off again and just be like, I can't deal with all of this. Like, I just can't. It's too much. Especially on wash day, y'all. Wash day when you have a TWA is wholly different three and a half years later. Okay? Like, I used to be able to wash my hair, condition it, and walk out the house and be like, ooh, it's just amazing. No. I still love my hair, but wash day is a different story. Wash day, me and my hair have, we, we have conversations. So, um, 
but yeah that's one of the things it just shows me like where I've come from and where I'm at now and how committed I've been to just growing my hair and really taking care of my hair like it definitely was trial and error like I said you guys heard earlier in the video where you know I didn't really know what I should do so I was doing what I thought I should do and when that didn't re really work out or when I was finding out that was the wrong thing to do I quickly changed and I stayed with it like and I'm glad that even just a year ago I started with the curly girl method and really was like I need to take care of my hair and if I want to keep this for a while I need to like get my curl pattern back I need to moisturize it that's still a issue at times but I need to keep it moisturized I need to you know worry about the balance of it of just everything so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely like like I said, her video inspired me to do this video. I would love to hear your video responses of why you love your hair. Um, please comment below if you don't want to make a video. Five reasons why you love your hair. Comment on my blog. I'll definitely write out everything, my five reasons, and put some pictures on my blog. So make sure to check that out so you guys can see like where I came from and where I'm at now. Um, from straight to weave to perm to press to TWA to afro to twist out band so not out whatever you know I'll put it in there and so you can see it and just keep me posted let me know how you're doing in your journey I always love to encourage people um, patience is definitely key if I was not patient which I'm working on being more patient with other things but if I was not patient with my hair it would definitely have been a longer journey and a more frustrating journey. I probably would have quit a long time ago and just been like, I can't deal with this. Like, I can't. Like, my hair's not growing. And I've definitely gone through that. Like, I was like, my hair's not growing. It's not growing. I don't know what's going on. Like, and everyone was like, oh, your hair's so much longer. I'm like, it's not growing. My hair's not growing. Why are you lying to me? My hair's not growing. Take pictures. I tr trust me when I say take pictures because when you look at like pictures back then and pictures now and I'm not even talking about like years ago just even six months ago to see where you are now it'll be a world difference like I look at pictures even just back in November when I first cut my hair again like as you guys know I cut off about five inches so when I cut off five inches back in November like now I feel like my hair has not grown I'm like what is going on like that was November you know this is five months later of what is going on and to look at the pictures back in November and to look at my hair now I'm like oh it is growing okay never mind just kidding so take pictures and it will help you to see the growth and to become more patient and to really become motivated to be like oh my gosh okay my hair is growing like it's longer than what it was so hope this video inspired you guys let me know comment rate subscribe um Hopefully I didn't rant too much. Bear with me. Um, but until next time, guys.